Hello everyone. Welcome to the course of satellite communication. In today's class, we are going to learn about terrestrial interface. Okay. So first, let us see what is a terrestrial interface. Okay. So before that, we need to know what is an earth station. We have already seen several uh, classes regarding the earth station, right? It's a huge station, which has a huge antenna, which communicates with the satellites, right? Okay. So here earth station is a vital element in any satellite communication network. Okay. So, so the function of an earth station is to either receive the signal from the satellite or to transmit the signal from this particular earth station to the satellite. Okay. So it will be like a most uh, cost effective and reliable manner. Okay. While uh, retaining the uh, desired signal quality. So here signal quality plays a major role, okay? So these earth station can be of various places on the earth, okay? So we need a huge antennas to communicate with the satellites as that we'll be getting uh, uh, information through all over the world, right? So uh, there is a need of uh, establishing satellites, uh, earth stations, okay? In several parts of the world, in several locations, okay? So these locations can be considered as our terrestrial interface. Now let's see how these particular locations look like. Okay. So the design of an earth station configuration depends on many factors and its location here. Location is also one of the important thing as well as the particular signal quality or the signal strength. Okay. So the main ultimate goal is to transmit and receive the signal throughout the world. Right. But at the same time, the signal strength is also very, very important and the signal quality is also very, very important. Okay. So it is fundamentally governed by its location, uh, which are listed. Okay. Let's see what are those locations. So, so it can be on the land. Okay. So it can be an earth station, which is located on the ship at sea. Okay. So it can be an onboard aircraft. So it can be several types of services. It can be the services given by service providers like uh, DTH or some telecommunication services like that. Okay. So uh, the types of frequency bands used is the signal quality also depends on the types of frequency bands used. Okay. So the function of transmitter and receiver also plays a major role. Okay. And the antenna characteristics based on the type of antenna used. And based on the characteristics of or the behavior of that particular antenna. Okay. So our uh, signal quality also depends. Okay. So these earth stations, the mostly earth station, what we are considering here is nothing but an antennas, which are located at several places or several terrestrial uh, areas or bodies. Okay. Which is used to communicate with the satellite that antenna or an earth station can be, it can be on a ship. It can be on an, any kind of aircraft, okay, or it can be on a uh, land or and also along with this, uh, the frequency bands used, what type of frequency bands are used for communication, okay, how this particular transmitter is receiver is functioning and the antenna which we are using for the reception and transmission of the signal based on the characteristics of that, this particular terrestrial interface along with the signal quality also depends. Okay. Now the transmitter and receiver. So the transmitter and receiver of any earth station consists of four major subsystems. We have already seen this uh, topic. So earth station consists of major four subsystems. One is transmitter. Second one is receiver. Third one is antenna of course. And the fourth one is the tracking equipment. It is the tracking equipment we have already seen in the previous session. Okay. Uh, we need a tracking antenna such that uh, it will uh, locate or it will discover that particular satellite where it is moving. Okay. And along with these four transmitter, receiver, antenna, as well as tracking system, we have two more important subsystem. So terrestrial interface uh, equipment, as well as the power supply system. Okay. So said terrestrial inter, uh, interface equipment uh, belongs to the uh, machinery or the equipment or the system. Okay. Which is located at the earth stations on several parts. It can be on an aircraft. It can be on a land or it can be on an 
uh, ship or anything. Based on that, the equipment changes, right? Okay. You can't uh, establish a huge equipment on an aircraft. Okay. Similarly, uh, compared to land or uh, ship. Okay. So based on that, the equipment changes. So uh, terrestrial interface equipment also uh, depends as well as the power supply from where we are giving this power supply to this particular earth station. If at all you are using a ship or an uh, 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 aircraft, okay, the power supply uh, providing for this particular earth, this, uh, earth system will be a difficult task, right? Or the challenging task. So we need to consider these two subsystems. And the earth station performance also depends on the following parameters. One is the transmitted power, how much power is transmitted along with the signal. Second one is the choice of frequency, how much frequency is used or selected for that particular operation. That operation can be in for transmitting of the signal or receiving of the signal. And the third one is the gain of an antenna. So gain of an antenna we have already discussed in the previous unit, okay, G by T and all those things, okay. Gain of an antenna is also very, very important for transmission and reception of the signal. And along with the gain of an antenna, we also need to have the efficiency of antenna, whatever the antenna you are choosing or using, it can be a parabolic or anything else, okay. The efficiency antenna, the efficiency of that particular antenna should be huge or more, okay. And Antenna pointing accuracy. Always we need to see that these antennas are pointed towards the satellites with which we are communicating such that there will be an uh, un uninterrupted uh, signal uh, uh, transmission and reception along with that the signal quality also will be great. Okay. And also along with that the noise temperature should be uh, we need to see that the noise temperature is less. Okay. So all these things are parameters for the earth station to perform well. Okay. So all this terrestrial interface, what we are talking about is nothing but the earth stations, which are located at the several places. Okay. It can be on the land or it can be any uh, mobile carrier thing. Okay. So as the location changes, the equipment, what we are using also changes. Okay. So which plays uh, the, the role of uh, transmitter, receiver, antenna, tracking system, all these plays an important role at the transmission and reception of the signal. Along with that, okay, in those parts only, okay. So we need to consider the transmitted power, the choice of frequency, what we are selecting, uh, antenna gain, antenna efficiency, and the antenna to which it is pointing towards that, okay. And the noise temperature should also be less okay in order to have a good quality of the signal okay the ultimate goal of using an earth station or communicating with the satellite or an earth station okay is to get the proper signal throughout the world uh, which means we need to have a good quality of the signal or good signal strength okay for which we need to uh, uh, maintain all these parameters in any kind of terrestrial interface okay so based on this all these above parameters, okay, we have drawn a functional elements of a basic digital earth system, which will be containing one transmitting unit, one receiving unit, uh, both are connected to an antenna and we will be having a tracking equipment. All this we have already seen, right? Okay. Same block diagram I have already explained in the block diagram of earth station topic. Okay. You can go through that particular block diagram of earth station topic. Same topic is, uh, is a continuation part of a terrestrial system. Okay. So terrestrial system is nothing but, or a terrestrial interface is nothing but an earth station, which is located at different places. It can be on the land, it can be on the water, or it can be in an air. Okay. So whenever you are establishing any equipment related to earth station in different terrestrial interfaces, Okay, we need majorly uh, four things. One is transmitting unit, one, it re uh, one is receiving unit, one is the antenna and the tracking system. Based on these four parameters, the whole transmission and reception of the signal or communication uh, with the satellites will happening. Okay, so same concept is uh, 
projected over here same block diagram i have already explained in the block diagram of earth station you can go through the topic and you can learn from there okay thank you